Just over a month ago, my daughter and I worked on a video covering 20 Easter eggs in Goat Simulator. The response to that video was one of the most heartwarming things I've seen on the internet. I only wish I'd recorded her face when I read the comments back to her. She couldn't stop smiling and claiming that she should take over the channel. Both of my children like to watch my videos, but with the recent Mortal Kombat videos, they obviously haven't been allowed. So this week, I asked Amelia, that's my daughter's name by the way, if she wanted to get to work on a new Goat Simulator Easter egg video and she jumped at the chance. So today, myself and Amelia bring you 20 easter egg secrets and references in the zombie themed goat simulator expansion, Goat Z. As always, if you think we've missed anything in this video, then the best place to let me know is on Instagram or Twitter, the links to both will be in the description. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. So first up, let's take a look at a couple of the film references in Goat Z. When we record these videos, I usually sit and watch Amelia play and she shows me the cool things she's found on the map whilst asking is this an easter egg dad. The first the first easter egg we actually came across in this session was this one. So that clip was a reference to the movie 300, when King Leonidas kicks an unlucky chap down a well. Also note that the kick is called Madness, again a reference to the scene. Madness. This is Sparta! The more eagle-eyed among you may have also noticed a sign saying Ridley Scott was right. This is a reference to the film director Ridley Scott who directed Alien, Prometheus and Alien Covenant. All of those films are about aliens. The next movie reference found in Goat Z is this one. So this bike is a reference to the movie Tron. I can't tell you the fun we had trying to ride this thing. This next easter egg is pretty creepy for a 9 year old. If you head to the church and headbutt the secret gravestone enough times, it will open the church door. So this character is like a cross between Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Even though he initially appeared scary, when we tried dragging him out of the church to get a better look, the character model got stuck in a T-pose which the moves does way more than it should have. In the first Goat Simulator video we made, we used a speedboat to travel to an island where we found a ball with a face drawn on it. This is a reference to Wilson from the Tom Hanks movie Castaway. Well it seems that Wilson managed to escape the island, but now finds himself stranded in the ocean. The final movie reference in the Goat Z expansion can be found in a cave. So licking this guy reveals his name to be Darth the Invader, a reference to Darth Vader from Star Wars. We checked the other people in the cave but none of their names seem to be referencing anything. Right, time to move on from movie references and take a look at some TV references now. First up is a reference to King of the Hill. The shop name Propane and Propane Accessories is a popular phrase in the show, but if you aren't familiar with the show, and you really should be, it's excellent, here's a clip. My name is Hank Hill, and I sell propane and propane accessories with honour and dignity. The next TV show that gets the goat simulator treatment is The Walking Dead. The first reference to The Walking Dead is this. That's a goat. Ah, not the brain. So the sign reads, The Walking Bed and Breakfast, an obvious reference to the title of the show. The next Walking Dead nod can be found here. Ah! 
So this character, who is called the Governor and is actually running to be a Governor, is a reference to the Governor from The Walking Dead. Do you remember in the first episode we found a pile of quote unquote sugar on a table? It made your screen go funny and made your goat really fast. Luckily, Amelia was the one that said it was sugar, so bullet dodged. Well, in the Goat Z expansion, we can find this. So an abandoned RV in a desert area. An obvious reference to Breaking Bad. That's not the end of this reference though. We are told that we need to go and collect three barrels, which are pretty easy to find. The first one can be found here. The second is here. And the third one is at this location. Once you have returned them all to the RV, this will happen. After the explosion, your goat will be wearing a hat, just like Heisenberg in the show does, and you can now lick piles of <clears throat> uh, minty crystals. I'll let you guys decide what this is. Anyway, after licking these crystals, you can turn people into ice. The final TV reference can be found here. Being on stage really makes me nervous. Ever since that zombie attack where I lost my guts. <laughs> so the Conrad O'Ryan show is a reference to the Conan O'Brien talk show, Conan. The host of the show looks a lot like Conan O'Brien, if you squint a little. Uh, okay, he looks nothing like him, but it's definitely a reference to the Conan show. Whilst we're here, if you head to the set opposite the Conan O'Ryan show, you can pose for a photo in front of a green screen. I see dead girls. Doing this will make your goat wear a blonde wig and have the ability to spawn chihuahua puppies. So that's the TV references out of the way, let's get into the weird stuff. Jumping off a bridge leads you to the home of the binary man. This man made of zeros and ones is called a glitch if you lick him, but we couldn't work out what else to do with him. If you guys have any clue, then let us know. Whilst we're in this area, it's worth climbing this tower to hear this. So that eagle screech sound that played as you leapt is a reference to the Leap of Faith from the Assassin's Creed series. Up next is one of my favourite easter eggs in the game. At the edge of the map you can find Dev Island. Dev Island is a place for the developers of Goat Simulator to kick back, relax and make it rain. They also take the time to dance like Snoop Dogg, something which Amelia thought was hilarious. If you're not a fan of the dancing, you can always stand on this button. You can also find a man seemingly made of sand on the island too, I don't know why. Overall, Dev Island is definitely worth a visit if you own the game. This next clip has a bit of a backstory. As I mentioned in the last Goat Simulator video, I try to play dumb whenever Amelia shows me things she's found. And this next easter egg was one that she was looking forward to showing me. If you headbutt the windows in this shop, all named after versions of the Windows operating system, one in particular will cause this to happen.
So when that happened, Amelia said, Dad, your laptop is broken. I knew it wasn't. I already knew about this particular Easter egg, but the laugh she let out when she told me she was joking is one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Oh, and in the same area, if you happen to break the escalator and stand on it, you can spot a reference to Anchorman and the that escalator quickly quote. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. On top of the mall, you can find a dance competition in full swing, and the dance moves may seem familiar. The dance the zombies are performing is from the Michael Jackson Thriller music video. Also, the security guarding the competition bear a striking resemblance to Agent 47 from the Hitman games. It's not just the bald head and suit either, they actually have barcodes on the back of their necks, just like 47. So this final easter egg is really cool. Just past the cave where we found Darth the Invader, you can find this area. This area is meant as a behind the scenes look at the game, with a crate to hold NPCs, people carving goat statues and a whiteboard with the developers future plans detailed. You can also find a setup referencing the TV show Britain's Got Talent where they seem to be judging additions to the game or different monsters, I'm not quite sure about that one. The final area of interest is a red button. It says do not push which means we definitely will. This makes the game's frame rate tank, and if left long enough, it will eventually crash your computer. So that's it. That's 20 Easter egg secrets or references in the Goat Simulator expansion, Goat Z. Remember, if you think we've missed anything, then the best place to let us know is on Twitter or Instagram. The links to both will be in the description and in my pinned comment. And now, just like last time, I'll let Amelia say goodbye. If you want to see more Goat Simulator videos, then make sure to leave a like. Thank you all for watching. I'll speak to you soon.